This is the Daughters of Sheba Foundation's point of view, an analysis of current issues that impact women, children, and families. We want to clarify that we do not own the copyright of some of the videos featured in our episodes. These materials are used within the guidelines of fair use, as outlined in Section 107 of the Copyright Act, and all rights remain with the original copyright owners. Disclaimer. As permitted by Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, some materials are used under the fair use provision for purposes including criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. We encourage you to watch the videos and share your thoughts in the comments. Infidelity, cheating, is a common phenomenon that has been present with us as human beings and in our relationships since time immemorial. Negative consequences arise from cheating, infidelity, such as the breakup of marriages or the dissolution of these marriages, complete dissolution of these marriages, and significant psychological distress. Studies consistently show the profound impact cheating can have on both individuals and the relationships, including heightened emotional turmoil and the potential for subsequent relationship trust issues. Yet, despite these things, the incidents remain very high and prevalent among different cultures, ages, and genders. In today's point of view, a recovery, a affairs recovery specialist says that not only the partner who is stepping out, but the person, let's say woman, as that is our focus, to whom the partner is stepping out is to be blamed. This is contrary to the views of many, including on this platform. We recently posted a clip of a woman cursing out side chicks for taking married men. Watch. I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody's husband is not your soulmate. Somebody's husband can never be your soulmate. In fact, I just feel like ladies who date married men are actually to be blamed. She had her husband taken or know someone who had their husband taken or whose husband walked out. Listen to what this affairs recovery specialist had to say, because she's agreeing with her that the woman takes some blame for this. So listen to what she has to say on the topic. Every time I make a mistress video calling out poor behavior, there are women in my comments saying it's the man, not the other women. Let me make this perfectly clear to everyone who says this stuff. The woman who knows he's married is just as at fault. Is the man at fault? Mm-hmm, yep. But if the woman knows, if the mistress knows he is married, and does not care and either pursues him and or buys into the we're separated law without or separated lie without um, actually looking into it, she's at fault. There's a small percentage of people that literally get taken advantage to, especially with online dating, you don't know. We can't blame some of these women. They just don't know. And after a little bit, they find out. And there are the mistresses that when they find out, they call the wife and sometimes the wives get really angry. That, that's not on them. We can't blame them. And there is grace to be said for many of these people. However, Besides a coworker is number one for affair partners. Do you know what number two is? A friend. A friend, a neighbor, best friend, or family member is the number two category. That means somebody who full on knows the entirety of the relationship and chooses to get involved with somebody who is married. And what's also horrible on top of that is they know all the issues that they usually have. So no, we get to hold crappy behavior accountable. And again, on top of that, it is the woman's issue to heal themselves. We choose to heal ourselves and not looking at red flags and emotionally unavailable people is part of our job as a community, as women, to hold ourselves accountable to a higher standard to not be taken advantage of. You know what's not a girl's girl? is somebody who goes for somebody else's husband. That's not a girl's girl. So we get to hold people accountable. Stop coming to my comments and saying, oh, well, it's the man's fault. Now, if she knows, which a large majority of women do know, it's her fault too. And if you live in one of the six states where you can actually sue an affair partner, be scared. 
because women are getting real sick of this bull crap. Stop making excuses for shiznitty behavior under the guise of feminism. That's not feminism. That's shittyism. Period. What are your thoughts? <laughs> who do you agree with? The people who says that it's only the man's fault because he was the one who made the vow and I, full disclosure, tend to agree with that. Or do you believe, as this affair specialist says, affair recovery specialist says, that the person who he's having the affair with holds some responsibility if she knew that he was married? Is this really shittyism and not feminism? Tell us in the comments. This was the Daughters of Sheba Foundation's point of view, an analysis of current issues that impact women, children, and families. Thanks for watching. We would love to hear your feedback on the topic discussed in this video. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.